evening campers. As you can see, I'm just leaving the upper goose pond cabin, which is a fantastic place to stay. Uh, it's, an, it's an old residence, like a summer home or you know getaway cottage. And uh, the government took it over basically. And now it's run by the, I'm not sure, some trail council. But um, there's about 14, 15 bunks in there on the upstairs. And uh, there's two outhouses, two privies. There's a wash station with four wash stations, as you saw. Um, a table to eat and cook at outside. A dishwashing station. Bear box. I mean, everything. They got canoes that you can borrow and paddle around the pond. Uh, it's really, really a nice place. And the caretaker of lobster couldn't have been great, greater. Um, he was he was super good. Uh, he's new at it, so he's uh, really eager uh, to make sure everyone's comfortable and happy and got what you need. He even let me grab a little power from his power bank. When I told him my phone was almost out of juice, I was, I was down to I think 18 or 19 percent. He let me use his battery pack because he said he was going in, into town today. Oh, sorry, I got an uphill here. I should have started filming when it was flat. In any event, he let me top up. I got up to about 44%, so I got about a 25% charge from him. So that was a, that was awesome. Enables me to shoot this video clip. Maybe a couple more today. I still have to save some juice for tomorrow in case I need to call for a you know an Uber or something, or I need to get in touch with the hotel where I'm staying. But in any event, 17 miles today, I believe. 17.1, 17.2, something like that. Not counting the half mile that I just had to hike from the cabin to get back onto the AT. <laughs> so, uh, uh, it's supposed to rain later. It's, uh, it's nice right now. It's cool. The sun's coming out. Uh, most of the trail, based on what I saw, is you know, fairly level, not a lot of big elevation gains or losses. Except for right now, I'm climbing up a steep hill. <laughs> oh, uh, a lot of tree roots on the on the trail. The tree roots are like they're like the rocks of Pennsylvania here at this point. So that's kind of slowing me down a little bit. It's hard on your feet stepping on tree roots that are everywhere. So uh, I can show you. I don't know if you can see that on the trail up there. It's just it's just crisscrossed like a network of tree roots. So uh, hopefully I'll make some good time today. It's supposed to rain later this afternoon, uh, so I got my rain jacket ready uh, in case I need to throw that on, which I probably will. So today I got to make some good time. I'm getting a late start. We had a big pancake breakfast. And, uh, you know, we took group photos and stuff. So it was about 8.45 before I got out of there, which is a late start. <laughs> really late start. Uh, so i got to make time today. 17 miles starting at 8.45. Holy cow. Uh, I'm shooting for the K Wood Shelter. That's the last one before Dalton. It's only three miles outside Dalton. So if I fall short of that for some reason, I mean, I'd have to stealth camp which is a no-no in Massachusetts, but if it starts raining really hard and it's just, it's clear that I'm not gonna make it before a reasonable time, then I may just have to uh, stealth camp. But we'll see, all right. I'm off and running, we'll see what the day holds. Coming down to US Route 20. Crossing over the highway. Ow. Cars on that side. It's kind of nice. It turns green again while oh, you're still up here on the ramp. So I just finished climbing Beckett Mountain from the Goose Pond, Upper Goose Pond Cabin. 
and uh, it shows the terrain profile. Most everything else from here on out is downhill or flat. Problem is that doesn't tell you what the actual surface of the trail is like, in which case, rocky and rudy, which really slows you down. So just because it looks flat doesn't mean it's easy. Here, take a look at what I'm talking about. So I am less than a mile from the October Mountain Shelter, which is about halfway from the Upper Goose Pond Cabin where I stayed last night, and Dalton, Massachusetts. This is where I'm picking up my next resupply box and where I'm staying for a zero day. Uh, I'm actually staying in Pittsfield, which is the, the main city, I guess, and Dalton is like a suburb, a village out on the outskirts. So in any event, this, this is where I'm going to decide. I'm going to stop at the shelter, take a break, have lunch, and decide based on the weather pattern, the mileage still to come, the uh, terrain profile, how I'm feeling, and just you know try to figure out what's my best uh, strategy. Is it to keep going to the K Woods shelter, which is just three miles short of Dalton? That would mean very short hike into Dalton tomorrow. I get there early, I get my package at the post office early, and then what do I do? I can't check into my hotel room at 11 in the morning. Um, so do I have time to kill then? I mean, what am I gonna do? I don't wanna go anywhere, I stink. I haven't had a shower in 10 days. I haven't done laundry in 10 days. So I don't wanna be shopping for supplies, stinking up the place. Or do I stop at the October Mountain Shelter? Call it a day, rest, relax, eat, uh, claim my spot in the shelter in case it rains tonight, which it's supposed to, so I don't get wet and all my gear, my tent doesn't get wet. And then finish off the hike tomorrow into Dalton, another, I don't know, maybe nine, 10 miles, uh, you know, and get there around lunchtime and get my package, and get to the motel, still get there around you know, early afternoon, one, two o'clock, somewhere around in there. And uh, you know, hopefully the room will be ready. I can get in a little early, I can do my laundry, I can take a shower, clean myself up, figure out what I need, walk over to Walmart or Uber over, and uh, resupply, uh, you know, get, maybe get something to eat for dinner, takeout or delivery, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to figure that all out when I get to the October Mountain Shelter.